Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis and in this short video we're going to discuss the uh, infinite series 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth. Um, what happens, what do, answer do you get to if you kept going forever? I gave this problem to my year 7 class many many years ago when I was teaching in Dubai and a female mathematician uh, who was 11 years old at the time came up with this really unique way of thinking about it uh, which I thought was really good and I wanted to share with you all. So firstly this is what she did. She noticed that one and a half was one and a half so she summed the first two terms and then she summed the first three terms one and a half and a quarter and she got one and three quarters then she summed the first four terms one and a half and a quarter and an eighth and she got one and seven eighths she started to spot a pattern so she now thought well i wonder if the next answer will be one and fifteen sixteenths in other words she spotted that the denominator was doubling each time and the numerator was always one less and of course she was right one plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth is 1 and 15 sixteenths. So then she kind of extended it and played with it and she thought well if I had 1 plus a half plus dot 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 imagine if I go up to 1 over 1024 then the answer should be 1 and 1023 over 1024. So she was thinking and she said to me well what's happening is the bottom numbers getting very large and in comparison the numerator is always one less so as the denominator is increasing um, so much it's doubling every time you add an extra one on if you kept going forever the top number the numerator would be approximately the same as the denominator so i think this infinite series will sum to two and i was really impressed so i said and she went further she actually said if you look this is 1 over 2 to the power 0 the next one is 1 over 2 to the power 1 the next one is 1 over 2 to the power 2 and the next one is 1 over 2 to the power 3 and so she said if you keep going the answer will be 1 and you would have 2 to the power n minus 1 in the denominator because if that is your first term n equals 1 then that's 0 that's your second term that's n equals 2 and that's a 1 so it's 2 to the power n minus 1 and on the top it's 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 it's just one less and she put a plus there now in words she said what happens to this we want to consider as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger and goes to infinity and she said well what's going to happen to 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 as n gets really really large and she said that's going to tend towards 1 it's going to go towards the number 1 so what she actually was doing as an 11 year old was thinking about limits and she realized that as n goes to infinity the limit of 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 tends towards 1 and hence the answer is 1 plus 1 and it's 2. Um, that was an 11 year old female mathematician uh, who held much much promise it'd be interesting to know what she was doing today and uh, if she ever watches this I would like to thank her it was an amazing lesson and I uh, uh, just wanted to share this with you. If you enjoyed this uh, video and you'd like to more, know more about um, finding sums to infinity of geometric series if you look in my algebra and trigonometry section playlist you'll find some more videos there thank you